What's up guys, Mike the Tech here. So today I'm going to show you how to automatically categorize your Steam library. And um, if you're anything like me and have a large Steam library, in my case a thousand plus, this tool will be very, very helpful for you. Um, it'll allow you to categorize by rating, by um, date released, by all these different options. So the tool we're going to be using today is called Depressurizer. And um, we're going to go ahead and download that off of GitHub and their releases page and you could either download the RAR or the zip file. I downloaded the zip and it's on my desktop. We're going to go ahead and extract the files and run the program. Now you might see an error when we link our Steam account. That's okay. I've been noticing that it came up in the latest release but um, the entire app still works fine so I'm not sure what the deal is but um, hopefully that'll get um, that will get sorted out in a later release but we'll see if it even happens maybe they already fixed it all right so it's downloading the games list good news i believe the error came up before this so i think they already fixed it and this may take a while because there's quite a few games Ooh, look, they updated a lot of this. All right, so I'm excited to do this video even more now because I was on the version just before this and um, they changed the user interface quite a bit. It looks really good, actually. So this is my current setup and how all my games are organized. I have um, games, software, um, and then I have them all sorted by years. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. Delete. And now all these are the default categories. And we see we have 1080 games and none of them are categorized. Perfect. So what we want to do is edit the automatic categories. So we can create a new one and say for example, any of these are okay to use. So if I wanted to do it by date released, I could go ahead and choose release here and go to create. And now um, it'll have date released and you can choose to group by decade or half decade and then you can save all changes. Now when we click on date released over here, we can click on auto categorize hit yes and it's currently getting the data from uh, Steam and it's figuring out uh, what date all of these were released if it doesn't have the date already in here so I've already done this before but because of the update it's gonna go ahead and do this again so we'll just be patient and wait for a bit I guess cool all right, so now we've gone ahead and scraped the information and we can see the release year for games that have that information, uh, the last time they were played, the review percentage, all the different tags that are available for that game, etc. So we can um, already see that we've sorted by date now. We see that these came out in the 90s. These came out in the 2000s, and these came out 2010 to 2019. Um, so that worked pretty well. I actually want to try one of these other ones. I want to try by tag. So delete this. Yes. And then I'm going to make a new category called tags. And let's see if we can do that. Store tags. Great. Is this going to work? All right. So I'm going to check all these tags, which may be a problem. <laughs> We're going to find out very quickly if this is a problem. But the cool thing is, is it's really easy, as you've seen, to restart. So let's go ahead and click on Tags and Auto Categorize. Um, there's 606 games that still have none, so yes, scrape. Okay. All 
All right. So now we have a ton of different categories up here, which is what I wanted. Uh, if I click on isometric, all these isometric games show up. If I click on massively multiplayer, all these massively multiplayer games show up. And they are, are also sorted um, into multiple categories. So um, one can be massively multiplayer and a mech game at the same time. Um, what do I have that? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, I guess a lot of games would probably have that. Okay. I was <laughs> like, why is that in my library? Anyway, um, yeah, so all the categories that these games are tagged in, you'll be able to um, access in your games. So I think this is a great program. Let's go ahead and finish up by... Uh, actually, I'm going to I want to clean this up. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything because it, it still has the years. And I don't want to have the years in there. So I'm going to delete all the categories. And just do this one more time. I'm going to... By tags and auto-categorize. Yes. And this should... Uh, I guess the 80s and 90s are also tags. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and uh, save profile. Save changes to Steam. Make sure that Steam is closed. Yes, it is. And then hit yes. Perfect. Now we're going to close Depressurizer and open up Steam. We're going to go into our library. And we can see that we have all these different categories. Detective games, destruction games, driving games, which, um, I mean, it's not super accurate because not all the driving games I have are listed there. But it definitely gives you a starting point on how to get them in to Steam. So if I go over here and go to Driving, you'll see 31 games um, labeled Driving, which is great. If I go over to Character Customization Games, it shows me all the games that include character customization. So I really like this um, method of categorization it might seem overwhelming with the tags but you can choose to sort by date or anything else you'd like instead as well um, it's a very versatile tool and now it's a very modern looking tool so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching and i hope this helped out have a good day peace